Coping Skills by the Jefferson Center School-Based Prevention Team. What is a coping skill? A coping skill is a tool that helps you when you feel really big emotions. Just like a toolbox has many different tools, we can have many ways that help us calm down when our emotions get really big. Why is a coping skill important? Coping skills are important because they help us control our emotions, thoughts, and actions. When we are faced with a problem or a challenge and feel frustrated, upset, or stressed, Coping skills help us feel more calm. Coping skills help our brain. They help calm down the part of our brain that holds all of our emotions so that we can make good choices. Breathing. The first coping skill you can use is breathing. Breathing is an easy way we can calm our body and brain down. This coping skill is great because you can use it anytime and anywhere. Belly breathing. This exercise helps us slow down and learn to breathe deeply. Let's practice together. For this breathing exercise, Place your hands on your belly. Now take a deep breath in and feel your belly fill up with air. Hold for a second. Now breathe out and empty your belly of all the air. You can also try this by placing a stuffed animal on your belly while you are lying down. Bubble breathing. For this activity, let's imagine that we are blowing bubbles. Let's blow three bubbles together. Are you ready? Breathe in and breathe out slowly to blow the first bubble. Let's blow another one. Breathe in. Breathe out slowly. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Good job. Five finger breathing. Another breathing coping skill is called five finger breathing. Let's try this one together. Hold up one hand in front of you. With your other hand, trace around following the arrows on the screen. Breathe in as you trace up. Breathe out as you trace down. Breathe in as you trace up. Breathe out as you trace down. Breathe in as you trace up. Breathe out as you trace down. Two more times, breathe in as you trace up, breathe out as you trace down, breathe in as you trace up, and lastly, breathe out as you trace down. Way to go. Don't you feel more calm? Another coping skill to help ourselves calm down when we feel big emotions is to get moving. The next tools we are going to talk about are all about getting our bodies moving. Jumping. Jumping is a good way to get some energy out and to get your heart beating. Try doing 10 jumping jacks in a row. Or if you have a jump rope, you could try to do 10 jumps in a row. Let's practice right now. Stand up, 
and do 10 jumping jacks with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, doesn't it feel so good to move our bodies? Play outside. When the weather is nice, you can play outside and get some fresh air. Ride a bike. Riding your bike is one way to get some exercise. Push-ups. Try some push-ups as a way to show your body some care. You can do push-ups on the floor or even against a wall. Relaxing. Relaxing is another way to help ourselves calm down. Let's learn about some relaxation tools to help us when our emotions get really big. Five senses. Paying attention to our five senses is a way to help us feel more calm. Let's practice this one together. Look around the room. Think of five things you can see. Now, what are five things you could touch? Three things you hear. Two things you could smell. And one thing you could taste. Music. Listening to calming music is one way people feel more calm. Another way people feel more calm is to make their own music. Get creative. You can draw, paint, or write. Many people find that these tools help them get their thoughts and feelings out on paper. You can draw, paint, or write about things that make you feel happy, calm, and relaxed. Read a book. Reading your favorite book is another way to relax. Talk to friends or family. Even though we can't see our friends right now, we can still talk to them over the phone. See if you can find a time to talk with your friends over the phone as a way to help you relax. Take a nap. Sometimes you just need to take a nap. This can help you feel more calm and peaceful. Hug a stuffed animal. Give your favorite stuffed animal or stuffy a hug. What coping skills are in your toolbox? All of our emotions can feel really big at times. When this happens, you have tools to help you. What are three coping skills you can practice this week? If your family would like additional information about mental health services and support offered by Jefferson Center, please call our 24-hour number at 303-425 Zero three zero zero. You can also contact your 
School for additional support and resources.